Hey guys, welcome to the first video of 2016. In this video, I'm sharing some of my video processor presets. In the description of this video and in the blog post, there will be a link to sign up for my email newsletter. You'll get a link for these presets plus uh, other things that I've given out in the past. So let's get into this. Drag in the video processor plugin and put it on a track. And the first preset is this JT Essential Video Controls. This preset for the processor gives you control over the position, left and right, up and down, the size of the video, uh, which is also zooming in and out, cropping the image to change the shape, and opacity control to fade it out into black or into a video clip that is underneath it. So starting from the top, horizontal position, that's pretty straightforward. Vertical position, you can move it around. And size, zooming out makes it smaller. Zooming in makes it really big. Cropping moves the sides in. And opacity fades it out. If we uh, bring this in, so you can fade it out into, I've got a solid color here. So with this, we can do a uh, picture-in-picture sort of effects. Bring this down to about, let's do 0.5. Move it over so the edge is touching and bring it up to the top corner. Actually, let's make that smaller. And let me quickly, there we go. So the screen capture, and there's my face in the corner. You could also do a split screen using this preset on the second track. So uh, let's see. You can double click things to reset them. So uh, horizontal position, we'll put it at 0.7. Uh, Actually, first, let me crop it. I want 25%, 25%, and then horizontal position set to 75. There you go. And the video underneath, you can do the same thing only the horizontal position would be 25. And there we've got a perfect split screen. You can do the same thing with the vertical position to do a top and bottom split screen. This is kind of a mod of the track opacity zoom pan built-in preset, but this also allows you to push it off the screen entirely which gives you control of bringing objects into view, automate things from out of view into view. The zoom factor is increased and also the crop part is taken from another preset. Uh, let's move on to the color controls now. So this is something that I've hacked together from a few different uh, color presets that have been on the forum. I've kind of just combined them all so saturation increases the color areas of the image and bringing it down to zero turns it black and white. Contrast it affects your brightness and darkness of the image. You can use these together. So the flat image for my camera is a little underexposed and uh, colors are a little muted bring up the saturation a bit, hopefully not getting too much red there. Um, pull down the contrast so that it's a little brighter. And the black areas are still black. That's obviously too much. Right about there looks pretty good. There may be a little bit off in the colors. Now, red contrast, green contrast, blue contrast, and scale, these kind of add in a tint 
Uh, just for demonstration purposes, I'll set the scale to one and crank up the red. So now we're adding red to this image. Add green and we've got yellow, blue, and now we've got black. The way I would use these controls is probably put them all at full and then turn down the colors that I don't want. So, so obviously this is dark, so I'll start with that. Um, I want less red, so I'll pull down the red a little bit. Now it's starting to look a little green. So pull out the green a little bit in there, and it's looking kind of warm-ish. Go to full screen. That's pretty natural. Before, after. So you can do a lot with this, even though it's just a really basic uh, color palette. Let's move on to the next thing, text overlay. This is the only one where you actually need to worry about what's in this section. And it's really just these two sections here. You enter the text that you want. So default text. You can add in additional lines. So just hit Enter. And then whatever you want to say, you have to save. That's Command S. And you can press tab here to indent things, save. And in this section here, we set our font. So we can go to something like Gil Sands, old, and it changes the font. You need to remember what the names of your fonts are. For now, we have to do this. But for all the other presets, you can basically just shrink this window and not worry about the uh, code. Let's go through these controls. Text height just makes the text bigger or smaller. X position and Y position, that's your left and right position of the text. You can basically move it to off the screen, bring it in. I did that in a recent video. Uh, it was probably pretty subtle and no one noticed. And then text RGB, so they're all at 50%, so we got a, a middle gray color. Crank up the red, got pink. Turn down this, we have red, magenta, white. If they're all at one, it's white text. If they're all at zero, you have black text. And opacity uh, fades it out. Background, we can change this background size to fill the screen if we want. Bring the opacity all the way down to hide it completely. And again, RGB to change the color. All right, so that's that one. Essential solid color is basically just a solid color. Choose any color from the RGB uh, wheel and then change the opacity. This is one way to apply a tint to the image. Most likely, you'll be just using this as a solid color to fade into um, from another video. So that's it. Let me show you how to bring these presets into Reaper. So if you have Reaper open, go to your resources folder, options, show Reaper resource path in Explorer or Finder. Click that. Explorer or Finder will open with your Reaper folder. You're looking for presets, built-in video processor. You want to open this in a plain text editor. So here is the code. What is important here is that uh, this number matches the number of presets that are in this list. The first preset needs to be 0, and then up to however many you want. And I've got this um, file here. This is my instructions. Copy everything below this line, so you copy all this, paste it into your video processor file. If there are two preset zeros, you're going to have a problem and you need to renumber things. Okay, I'm sure you will figure it out. And that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you wanted these video processor presets, sign up for my email newsletter to get the link. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already, and visit reaperblog.net for more tutorials.